unloading. It's quite a lot of walking to do. I luckily have a wheelbarrow to, uh, to bring it all down to the house. Right now there's a tractor of the old owner, the French guy. They're picking up uh, their stuff, which is much easier because the, tr the tractor can go closer to the home. But uh, this is okay, got a wheelbarrow. Just some walking up and down. Luckily it's down and not up. So. This view, it's so gratifying. I'm gonna enjoy this for uh, quite some time, I think. Everything is still a mess. <laughs> um, this is my desk. It's the kitchen. It's where I cook. It's where I store. I mean, everything is still in different places, different boxes. It's a mess still. Uh, that's the first thing I have to do is organize where I live, how I can prepare my food. This is the first time I cook, and it's chaotic.
it's quite a small system for um, a homestead like this but I, I thought I'd, I'd start small and minimal and then this is the kind of system that could grow over time I could add batteries, I could add an inverter and I could add a charge controller was a storm yesterday uh, a lot of wind and it sweeped all the leaves from the trees all the brown leaves I mean I photographed it yesterday it was like a fairy tale landscape with all the red like the brown red leaves and they're all gone it's winter now it's so strange Looking beautiful, wow. No major uh, leaks. There's no leaking in that cabin. This one is leaking a bit on the front, but it's not really a problem because there's nothing that can go wrong. At the moment I think like both houses are going to be individual houses so both will have a bathroom and a bathroom so when I have guests one or the other could stay here or there um, and this one is first priorities I'm gonna work on this first and then I think on the first floor it's gonna be a bedroom bathroom no bedroom and living room and a little kitchen and then here it's gonna be the bathroom
Okay, this is the ugliest table I've ever built. But it's a workbench and it's temporary, so it doesn't have to be beautiful. It works. Yesterday there was about um, 20 centimeters of snow falling. I was in the valley, and even there was snowing quite a lot. So uh, I almost didn't get through with the car. Some some parts were just too steep and just too much snow, but um, yeah, I got through. So that's good. But it's a different life, you know. In the snow, you have to. Everything takes longer. You have to remove it where you're working and. Uh, but it's really beautiful. All my water is frozen and the pipe is frozen too so I can't get water uh, but I have still quite a bit and otherwise I'll walk to the neighbor to get some water. All good! Hai perduto tutto anche le tavole
shouldn't pack it too heavy because uh, the road is still slippery. So I'm going to try it with the uh, first batch. Next time I try a bit more. But this is already quite heavy. Those beams are heavy. And so they're, they, they, most of them usually stay further up, up the mountain, mm. but there are at least two that for a large part of the year are living in the rocks down here. So they always cross paths here and you can find them. And they are beautiful creatures. And there's a, there's a fox that, that just the other week on Sunday at 9 a.m. or something, I took a stroll up there and it was just coming my way. And it didn't see me at first. Okay, I just had the first night here. It was a good night of sleep. Um, I'm still kind of camping here, it's still a mess. I have to make planks, I, make the, I have to make a little kitchen. A drain that goes down the floor and then drains out of the window downstairs. So I can have water here. Not running water, but I'll still use the, the, the containers. It snowed all day yesterday, so there's about this amount of snow. and. Um, but I have to charge my batteries to take some shots because it was so cold and the batteries are... I mean, they need some... they need some warmth. <laughs> Black. 
So the so wheels, the, the, the wheels. Yeah, they they go like that. We have two wheels. Mm -hmm. They are on top of that. They're in the middle. Mm -hmm. Right now they're not, but they slide on that. But we can see. And then I made a thing for you. A brick. It's ah. it's just a brick. It's it's not a. El a, temp a pasa paslo bin. Yes. I don't know what that means. Yes. The, 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 the time, time goes, passes. so a bit nice. Yeah. It's only a brick, but it's from uh, uh, 1740. Oh, really? That old? It's uh, almost uh, 300 years old. Yeah. The thing that uh, we were saying a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. uh, the time goes, and you don't know what the time has for you, so you don't just have to uh, take it and uh, play it nice and have fun because yeah. uh, maybe you'll survive 300 years like uh, this brick or maybe not who knows so, who i like knows? that well thanks Vilo. no problem i'll drink to that cold coffee Just came back from town. It was a big storm today, or just a lot of wind. And uh, the solar panels, two of them, they flew off. I got a message from Johannes. And uh, yeah, you can hear it, you know, going through the forest, the wind. This landscape really makes you humble. You know, every day I'm enjoying these views, this beautiful, beautiful landscape. But sometimes it takes something of you, you don't have control. That's life in the mountain, you know. Nature takes and gives. Mostly gives.
first birds. Spring is coming. I was hearing the wall very close. Oh man. Oh man, that moon, that cloudy moon. <laughs> My heart is pounding. It's the first time I heard so close the wolf. It's it's on the other side. It's far away still.
gonna make a stone path here because it's getting a bit too muddy. I'm walking around here all the time when I'm working here. At first it was fine, but it's it's raining so much the last days that it's starting to become ugly. to weld this and this is going to sit on a thrust bearing this is gonna sit in here and like that the crane can tilt Time for another walk. Um, the last time I was in this little ghost town over there, 
um, episode 9 I believe or 10 and then on Sunday I was actually up there there's a little peak just in the middle of the platform and then you can see in the other valley and you can actually see how deep this valley is uh, but this time I'm gonna go behind that ridge that big diagonal over there where the snowy mountains are I can drive with the car I think further in the valley because it's very far from here There's a little ghost down here. It's so beautiful. You can just feel the history. Little village. There's two houses are renovated, or two or three, which are just holiday houses. There's nobody here. This is 1800 meters, little Alp town or township. Yeah, probably people live here in the in the summer with the cows, and the sheep. This is a nice little spot for a garden. Um, I'll probably start with one or two beds this year. And I'm thinking also to make a little greenhouse here. Because there's always sun here. You know? The sun is coming up right there. And then it goes down there. 
These doors are beautiful, but I can't use them as doors anymore. Because they're too rough, you would open, you would hurt yourself on it. But I can use them for the, the beds. So I'll cut them in half. And then I can use them as sideboards. Potatoes or in the foil? Yeah, in the foil, yeah. And the potatoes are in the foil. Not sure if it's That's nice. Time for plumbing. I'm making the main connection today, so I think I have running water today. And then I'm gonna make some temporary solutions because the plumbing is going to be an ongoing project because now I'm living in that cabin, so I need water there. But in a few weeks or a month, I will move out because I'm working on the roof and then I need water somewhere else. And there I need a sort of a clean slate to work there. And um, yeah, I want running water, so I'm um, I'm gonna create some temporary solutions first. Probably a shower outside. I have a small boiler, uh, 15 liters, so it's nice to have a warm shower. And um, yeah, so this this is the things that I bought yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna need much more, but this is probably enough for some uh, temporary solutions.
1st of April, starting pretty cold, it's freezing tonight.
All right, outdoor shower finished. It's a um, 15 liter electric boiler, solar powered. And uh, yeah, I can, I can put this wherever I want. Eventually it's gonna go over there. You know, once the cabins are finished, this could be a nice shower for uh, people who come to camp here. But now it's my main bathroom, so let's see if it works. I need a longer power cable, so I'm gonna disconnect this.
I've rented a digger because I need to dig a trench of what is it 70 meters in total so uh, it's gonna help me Working on the slope is quite tricky. I have to be careful that it doesn't topple over. I think this is the first time I'm speaking about a toilet because I don't have one right now. Um, I think this is a good spot for an outhouse. Um, eventually I'll have a toilet in the cabin as well. Maybe a dry toilet, maybe a septic system, I'm not sure about that yet. Um, but an outhouse would be nice for now while I'm building, but also for people coming to visit. Uh, people coming to camp, you know, I mean sure, I'm sure it will happen and then they don't have to, s to use one of the small cabins when somebody's living in there. Let's call it a day. Oh, you got your, your window still on. I'm taking it down tonight. <laughs> oh, really? I wanted to heat one more time before the cold comes. Because I... It's going to be colder, you think? It's, it's going to be colder. So in a way that you didn't get the tomato plants right now, I mean, you can still get them and put them in if you want later. Yeah, yeah. So it might not even be that bad because they prefer to not go like way below 10. It's not good. Yes. Oh, your door is finished. Yeah, those those spikes are beautiful, and the door handles good mm. too. Yeah, I tried to get something that sort of matched the the overall spirit of the thing. But it's, it's not it's not the exposed to the here.
so incredibly beautiful to, to be here right now because I've been away for more than a week I came back here yesterday night and everything was so green it's like summer and it's like a totally different place with the flower beds and all which is all green in the grass it's so beautiful
vestig. Oké. Okay. The bed is quite full now. There's basil, there's strawberries, there's cauliflower, broccoli, potatoes coming through. I might have planted things a bit too close to each other, like the lettuce. <laughs> uh, it's, it's probably going to be a bit overgrown, but that's okay. Give it a spin like that, and then we'll spin backwards that's after that. That's some physics, right there. So you're originally from Amsterdam, right? South of the Netherlands. Okay. Yeah, I've moved around the Netherlands a few times, and uh, I ended up in Amsterdam mm -hmm. about 13 years ago. Mm. Nice. Okay, you guys ready?
When it's on the rocks, it's also easier to yeah. pick up again. There you go. Let's go. right there. Right there. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Nice. What's this? Is this like a pipes or something? Yeah, just more tubing that popped out. Yeah. Interesting. If anybody's still hungry after all this. Perfect timing. Good job, bud. I kind of want to try the newer one. We cheers, but we don't touch. We don't touch. Thanks to all the guys. Sign or a tree? It's a sign. No, it's kind of like, I think it's kind of like the same thing. Um, I mean, if it's advertising, it's it's boring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.
Disney. Dann. Nice. This is your beer. Oh, sounds or, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. So Cheers, guys. Welcome. Um, <laughs> thank you. Welcome Cheers. Here. Cheers. Thank you. Pretty good, isn't it? Yep. Good. Nice. Good level. Yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll swing harder. Give it a bit. I'm 
studying uh, the river or something like that. When I was in Vienna, I can't. Uh, Nice. Well, thanks for cooking. Good job. Thank, thank you. Thanks for You're welcome. Very much. Help yourself. Very good. <laughs> I'll, I'll get this one. I'll get the bad one. You yeah. turn here? No, yeah, I'll rotate. Yeah, yeah, okay. A bit more this way. Just... Right. I'm soaking up. Nice because yeah, this is shampoo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be all the. Yeah, nice. Nice. Look at this board. Oh, it's gonna hold it. All right, guys, help yourself. Olive oil, salt, pepper. No. <laughs> no, it was. Nice bike. Nice to meet you. Hell. Nice to meet you. <laughs> As well. Nice for me. Hi. I'm Carolina. Carolina, nice I'm Tristan. Hi. Nice to meet you. Where should I put this thing? Put it, you can put it over there in the shade. Okay. Okay. Nice to have it. Al Capone. Another half? Yep.
Ja, prima. Hek is gemaakt. Neighbor just came to tell me that there's cheese for sale from the farm. Let's have a look. Questa è con l'acino d'uva del vino. Okay, Ed è vecchio. I always like this room a lot. It's, I had kind of the first imaginations coming here um, because I couldn't go in the other cabin the first times I came here. So look out of this door, see the beautiful view, and thought it could be a nice antique little sofa here, fireplace over there, and that's why I bought that mantelpiece. I bought it in Amsterdam actually just before I arrived here. You might have seen me carrying it around in the in the first video. Uh, it's nice. Glass door, so it lets the light in.
So you have the cows, uh, goats, chamra, sí. and in summer you go up or, or here? Allora, le mucche sono lì. Ah, ok. E le capre adesso passano e vanno là sotto il ripetitore. And every day up. Ogni giorno, sì, sì. Sì, perché se no c'è il lupo, il wolf. Ah, yes, yes. Si mangia tutto. E Fabio, mio figlio. Oh, Fabio is the, the boy. Sì. Yeah. Ha tutte le galline. Guarda. Here he the cows. Cows, chickens. Si dice cento? Cento, cento, cento. chicken. The goat? Goat is in there? Let's have a look. Allergies are killing me. I don't know what it is. Grass. Summer is not good for me. But top is there. A little bit more. There's a little tower. It's a little tiny tower up there.
it is way more like um, there's more elevation. When you look uh, at the videos, only the videos, uh, everything seems uh, seems to be a little bit flatter. Yeah. And when you're here, like uh, everything is like more elevated. Yeah. Like the cabin's more down, the tent is more up. You yeah, can't you see mean. this on the on the normal, normal video it's, shot. It's very difficult to capture, yeah, with, it especially is. if you shoot with a wider lens. If you shoot wider than 35 millimeters, yeah. which is the, the perspective of the human eye, it's the same as the human eye. But if you do wider, it, it makes it already flatter. Yeah. If I make it really wide, those mountains look very far yeah. away. Here, I can show you on the camera. Here, so this is 35 millimeters. You can look in the camera. Uh, so this is the depth the human eye perceives, right? Yeah. But if I film in, like this, you cannot show everything. No. But you can see I'm going down and the mountains are still high up there. But if you zoom out, so this lens goes to 16 millimeter, which is very wide. Um, you see it? Ah, yeah. But, the, you know, so... You can show the mountains, you can show that I'm walking here, yeah. but it's not a true perspective, right? Those mountains are much closer than you see on yeah, the camera. Yeah, they are. Even on the small screen, they look so far away. Yeah. And it's beautiful because you can, I, I can show what I'm doing here, but you can, can even show the weather, the clouds, yeah. if the clouds are beautiful, for example. So it's a great way to show everything, but it's not accurate. No, it is not. And it needs to be symmetric, like straight up. I can lift it up. Yeah. Be careful not too far. Yeah. <laughs> With a bit of sweat. Wow. Now we just. something in here. Don't you have your <coughs> little bit more. <coughs> okay. Yeah you're good. <sighs> slowly, slow, 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 slow. Yeah. Down, good, good, good. Try 
Try to keep it down. Yeah. Get light and light. It is. Keep it up. Yeah. Cheers, man. Good work. Three centimeters? Yeah. Well, well, five centimeters. But we have to measure because some of the diagonal that we have aren't for this type of. Uh, they are only slightly different, and once you want to put them on, they won't fit. Different out. kind of pull edge. Uh, Two small ones I'm, I'm going to leave them.
open it with his teeth and then he broke his teeth. <laughs> so <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no. This <laughs> can't be true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks for the work. Cheers, man. Day has finally come. We're taking down the roof. Uh, we're five men strong. Uh, Marius is still here. Tyson is staying for another day. We've got uh, Marco also from Germany. He's a crossfitter, so that's a strong guy. And then there's David from uh, Italy. Uh, so I think with five people, it's, it's we can pull it off. We're gonna start without the crane and see how it goes because the stones in the middle are fairly small and they become bigger once the biggest ones are on the bottom so let's see how it goes A big one? Yeah. Bigger Which one, one are you eyeing? Look at that, like it's all shifted. The one right. on the left. You tried it already. Yeah. And there's another step coming. No, no, we're we going. So you guys yeah. hold down. Yes. So uh, push, push the wood down. Push the back. Yeah. I think you have to go over it. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Because I can't. Uh, yeah. Pull. Nice. 
the on the edge. On the edge. Yeah. 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 yeah you I can try. Can no, 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 I cannot lift this part by my own. Or can I? <laughs> I can. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Well, do you guys have it? Yeah. What's up? Giving up. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. You did, you did it. it, guys. You made it. Oh, beer o'clock. Beer o'clock. <laughs> yeah. It was falling. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, was, you were almost falling in the end. Because there was a moment where I, <laughs> all, I felt like going, going down. <laughs> shoe these are some of the things we found in the walls or actually under the roof look at that on the, on the nails Once it's flat, it's quite easy, but once it's going a little bit uphill, it's too heavy. Obtain the right angle. Yeah. We 
rotate here. Yeah, you can see it. And there's weight on it. So we should press the yeah. right there. Wait, wait. I rush for a second, or are you good? Hey! Hey! Hey, so back, mate. Yes, you're in the back, dude. Stay in the base, yeah? There you have it. Yep. Clockwise, one quarter. Here we go. Okay, take. Side. I'm not good. No, you're not good. Hold it. Oh, hold it. Sorry. Sorry. Get out of the way. I okay. think this is kind of good, yeah. I think you guys go a bit closer. You've to got this piece on the wall. raining finally. It's very nice. I had to run out a little bit earlier to cover the roof because it will wash out the walls which is a problem if there's a lot of rain coming into the walls. So I had to run out just a bit earlier. What I'm working on now is the placement of the wall plate. Uh, the wall plate is the beam that sits here in the concrete and it's connected to the wall and it will carry all the rafters. The rafters are those ones here. They are 12 by 12 beams. They have the same treatment as the big beams that are 20 by 20. And the rafters will carry the rest of the roof. There are nine of them here on both sides. So 18 in total.
The last one, the strongest uh, one. Great. Loudest one. We did it, Leech, yeah? Yeah. Well done. Thanks a lot. That was a lot easier with you. I'm happy.
a lot of rain these days. Let me show you the, the current drawings, because a few things have changed. So you've seen a few drawings maybe before, but this is the most updated one. A few things have changed, like the rafters are going to be in the walls, so you'll see much more of the stones on the outside. So from here it will look like a thinner roof, and the masonry stove is going to be inside. Obviously the hill doesn't continue under the ground. Um, it's not going to be this stove. This is was what I just downloaded from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. So you can just download some stoves. But I'll probably... It's going to be something like this. But slightly different. Uh, rainwater. There's going to be just traditional steel gutters or... What is that, these copper color gutters? This could be quite nice as well. All the rafters are on. It was a big job, but a nice job. I really enjoyed doing this. You know, when I was thinking about renovating this place, all the time I was thinking about this stage of the building because it's, you know, the rafters are such an important part of the of the structure, and um, because they're visible from the outside and the inside. Um, you know, from a distance you can recognize the structure of a roof by seeing the rafters. So it's a, it's a beautiful part. And they're part of the furniture, basically, because they are visible. Um, I have to take them off again. They're lightly screwed on. Because I have to treat them, I have to impregnate them. Uh, same as the beams, so they need to be cleaned up. Cleaned off the spots. And, uh, so, good progress.
just in time, early morning, 7 a.m. Thought I was going to paint today, but probably not. Got a roof, mate. Got a roof. You got a good roof. Looks good, man. Yeah, it seems to be fun.
I can quickly sketch as a catch up how the roof's going to build be built up. So I started with the big beams. These are 20 by 20. Uh, on top of there are rafters. Not a row of nine. These are 12. Then I just oh, the boards. We did that last week. Then the vapor barrier, which I've just done. Now I'm doing these ones, so that's going to be eight centimeter. And in between here is going to be the insulation. On top of that's going to be a layer of TVEC, and then the counter batten, which I'm going to cut off this one. It's two centimeters. Then the batten, which is five by seven. And then the stones. Autumn is coming. These parasol mushrooms, they are, I mean, the texture is really beautiful. I mean visually, but also to cook with. But when you buy them in the supermarket, they always look very squashed because they're very vulnerable. When you pick them up, they tear apart very quickly. As but when they're fresh growing here in the garden, it's so beautiful. And it's really nice with uh,
So, first part of the wall's done. It's the little part I started here. This was the first stone yesterday. And, uh, yeah, it's really exciting. Um, so now you can also see how the roof is going to be finished on these sides. So this is the reason why I kept the roof sort of smaller inside the walls, because I didn't want to have a lot of wood visible here on the outside. And now you only see the battens sticking out and the stone lying on top. Yeah, can I go down a bit towards you guys? Uh, I have to go that way a little bit. Okay, cool. going to be potatoes for the coming weeks. There's a lot more even in there. I'll take that out in a few days. Some plants are still good so I can keep them in there I think. Ah this is nice. 